Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are talking about one of my favorite free online resources, and that is YouTube. YouTube can be such an amazing tool for homeschoolers and educators. There's great content out there that can help supplement the learning you're already doing or answer some of those crazy questions that kids love to ask. But how do you know which channels you should spend your time on? How do you know which channels have the best quality content that is designed and safe for kids? Well, today I'm gonna make it simple for you by sharing 10 of our favorite YouTube channels that are, have an educational bent designed specifically for kids. So let's get started. Hi, First, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos. And on this channel, we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are gonna help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. First up is Homeschool Pop. This channel is not just for homeschoolers, but it is specially designed by a homeschool dad. You're gonna find videos on here of all different topics, history, science, language arts, you name it, it's there. One of the things I really appreciate about this channel is the fact that while it is animated and there are fun sound effects, it, it's not real flashy or over the top. It presents the information in a fun, engaging way, but it's not sensory overload to kids who might have sensitivity to those types of things. They talk about so many different topics and frankly, it is our go-to resource. We always go to this channel first and foremost before going anywhere else when it comes to educational content. But one of our favorite videos on this channel is the place value lesson. This video is like, I think seven minutes long and it has literally taught all four of my school age kids how to do place values. And they were not grasping this concept of place value until I put on the seven minute video and the light bulb went on. Guys, I was shocked. So I did that for the first three after trying multiple things and hitting a wall. And for the fourth child, I just said, forget it. We're just gonna start with this video. So it does a great job in explaining sometimes difficult concepts in a new and different way that it makes sense to them, especially if you have visual learners. It just helps for it to click. So definitely recommend checking that one out. Our second channel up is Jack Hartman. Now, Jack Hartman's channel is specifically music oriented, and he does a great job of marrying music and memory, taking difficult concepts like sight words, multiplication facts, skip counting, and much more, and putting it to music so that your kids can easily memorize it. He has songs on different seasons, the different months of the year, on the alphabet, and really all sorts of topics that you might want to put to memory. He has content that is appropriate for younger and older elementary age students. And so I definitely think this is a resource that's gonna be helpful. He also does a good job of putting memory, music, and motion together as he has several different workout style videos where you have hand motions or workouts that you're doing while repeating facts that you're trying to memorize. It has been a, a, such a great tool to use with my kids as we have several kids who struggle with memorizing certain facts and this has been a great way to just really solidify it in their mind through that music and movement. Next up is National Geographics for Kids. This channel is a lot of fun. It covers a lot of different topics again also, some questions that kids ask, a lot of information on different kinds of animals, as well as some great geography and history content. Now, one of the things that I love and that makes this channel so special and unique is that they have a National Geographic Kids website that is also connected to this channel. We love to use this channel specifically for our geography. We are doing US geography and taking one state every two weeks, doing a little bit of digging, learning, reading on that particular state. And not only does this channel have great videos when it comes to the different states in the US, but it also has the separate section on the website where I can go find the correlating section. It'll tell us more fun facts, pictures from that particular state, as well as maybe local attractions that they've also done videos on. It's a great way to kind of build, especially if you have unit studies in your home. So definitely check that one out. Next up is the Smithsonian channel. Now this channel has a lot of content that's not necessarily geared for kids or at least not young kids, but is great for your teens and then also has a lot of full size documentaries. So videos that are anywhere from 30 to 55 minutes, some are an hour plus more 
on different topics. What I like about using this channel, we don't use it as often as a quick insert into our lessons, but when we're ready to go dive deeper into things, this is a great resource to go to. Also, I will say this one can be a great thing if you have kids of all different ages. Maybe you're doing history all together and you have younger ones who are just simply listening to your reading, taking a few notes, things like that, but you want your older students to do further research into the topics you've discussed. This would be a great way for them to go online, grab a few good resources, and maybe watch a documentary or two on that particular topic. The TED Ed channel. This is a new favorite of ours. Just last year, we stumbled across it as we were looking for resources to help us with the election. They had great videos talking about what is the presidential election and why do we have an electoral college? They do a great job through animation and great information laying these things out. But as we found these videos and I bookmarked it and started subscribing, I noticed that they had so many more neat videos on different topics. Again, this channel has a wide variation and you can find almost anything on there. But one of the things that I really enjoyed is their playlist on news media literacy. They have an entire playlist all about how do you find reliable news? Now, not everyone may agree on their particular stance on it, but I felt like they did a pretty good job from speaking from an unbiased perspective, giving you facts and things to look for in reliable media sources that you can use and apply. If nothing else, this channel does a great job at doing conversation starters for your family. So take the opportunity, dig into their stuff. It's not just politics, don't worry. There's a lot of other fun information on there, but take those opportunities to start good conversations with your kids. Next up, World Watch News. World Watch News has a special place in my heart. It is actually a full length program that you can subscribe to, but they have elements of it that are free on YouTube. So if you want to know more about the subscription based service, it is a news channel that comes from a biblical perspective, teaching your kids how to have a biblical worldview while understanding what's happening, not just in the US, but getting a global perspective, what's happening all over the world. My kids love it. It is designed for junior high and high school age kids, but my kids, even being 11 and under, have really enjoyed it and found it to be super helpful in starting great conversations. If you want to see a video on the full program and what it includes and why we love it, check out the video up in the iCards or down in the description below. But on their YouTube channel, they offer little mini clips. They do have a few full length featured episodes, but for the most part, it's just one video every single day that they post and they will post one about one to three minute video segment of one of their news stories. Their full program is I think believe between 10 and 15 minutes per day. And so this is just one little section of that story. However, if you're looking to test out the program and or if it's just not in your budget and you want to start to get your kids used to watching a news source that's going to be safe and appropriate for them and giving them that biblical worldview, watching those little segments each day could be a great way to get started doing that. Art Hub for Kids is another great channel for you. This one is great to incorporate art as well as other skills. It's actually a father who does drawing videos alongside his children, which I just love that concept. He is showing his kids how to draw these different items. Some are everyday household items or regular things you would see that we have had our kids learn how to draw so that they can use them in nature studies, like different kinds of flowers or animals or things like that. But he also does fun videos on more or licensed characters like Disney, Star Wars, other fun things like that. The videos are very easy to follow along to, very age appropriate, but also really interesting. He encourages kids to, you know, put their own little flair on the drawings to really make it their own. We actually love to use this as a fun family night where we will pick one of the videos that the kids are interested in and the whole family will each have their own paper and pen and will draw out their own drawing. Maybe we'll color it, things like that. And when the video is over, we'll all reveal our creations. And it's fun to see how different they are. And it's just a fun way to get together as a family and to get some art in. Now, you may have heard of this channel before and that is Dad, How Do I? This was created by a man who really had a heart for reaching out to kids who maybe don't have a father figure in their life to teach them how to do things. He showed them how to change oil on a car, how to wrap Christmas presents, and so much more. 
This is really practical videos teaching those important life skills to children. Now, my children, we are blessed with a wonderful dad who's very hands-on and loves to teach them different things. However, it's been really fun to watch these videos with my kids and to see either how people do things a little bit differently or to touch on topics that we wouldn't really get the opportunity to teach them otherwise. So I love this channel. It is great for life skills and would highly recommend it. How It's Made is also a family favorite. It is kind of reminds me of those segments in Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. You know, when they would go and see what different people's jobs were around the community or how certain things were created. A lot of these are that kind of style. So you can find out things like how are crayons made? How are Oreos made? And things that are maybe a little bit more serious out there. They go into the in-depth process of how these things are created and how they're produced and sent out to market. And it is really fun for my kids to be able to see that process from beginning to end. Last but not least is Cosmic Kids Yoga. This one has been one that my kids have done from the time they were tots all the way up to now. Cosmic Kids Yoga is a really fun, engaging storyline where your kids can get in some of that PE. It's great for the winter time when you're stuck inside or with quarantine when you just need to get out some energy inside the house. Just put on an episode. They're full length, free episodes of these yoga programs. And they use the different poses in yoga to actually Actually tell a story. So as you go throughout the story, they're going to call someone on their phone, which is actually bringing their foot to their ear or other fun movements like that. This one is a great way to get your kids moving, engage them, maybe get a little mind break during the day and sure to be a favorite. Now, I will say with all of these channels, I do want to put the little disclaimer that I do recommend that you watch these videos with your kids. It's a great way to start good conversation and to practice discernment. I have not been able to watch every single video on all of these channels. However, we have been using each of these channels for quite a while now, and we have enjoyed the content and the majority of the content that is out there, but several of these are from secular resources or just I haven't been able to watch everything, so I can't vouch for every single video on every single channel. That being said, use your discernment, help your kids walk through it, and if you're watching together, even if you find something that maybe isn't in line with your beliefs, it's a great way to start that discussion. All of these are kids safe channels though, and you shouldn't find anything horribly offensive or massively inappropriate for children. So I hope you will enjoy this content. And if you guys are looking for podcasts for kids, because maybe you wanna mix it up a little bit and do some audio learning, I've got a great video for you guys up here on 10 of our favorite podcasts for kids. And if you want to check out some board games, I've got 10 best educational board games over here as well. So have fun learning and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.